right guys so just a brief alert as you can see on your screen there there will be a money gossip october edition whereby there will be a lot touching on financial literacy investment with a purpose and it will be a meet and greet plus networking the host is amos ngau a good friend of mine he's one of the most competent people i know when it comes to finance if there's ever anyone struggling and wondering how to transition from millionaire to billionaire or from whatever level to the next this is the guy who knows how to make it happen now this is on saturday 19th october 2024 venue is ngamani 316 chambers mezzanine floor and uh, for more details there's a number down there 07 5004853 the fees are 5000 per person 9000 per couple and the teal is available on this uh, infographic so if you are interested do make your way down there after the senate impeached dp rigathi gashagwa successfully yesterday there is a big problem that is arising for the president and the problem is this who will trust him again i say this because there are several groups which today have lost trust in the president and that's what i want us to look into in this video first group is none other than politicians politicians have come to learn that there is no security around the president anybody anywhere at any time can be moved or fired or even hired for that matter for whatever reason whether it is logical to you illogical to you anything can happen at any given time and there is precedent for this there was the first cabinet reshuffle followed by the entire cabinet being fired followed by a new cabinet being appointed and ODM coming into power followed by the impeachment of DP Rigathi Gashagwa and that is why many people have been saying for someone like Kimani Ishungwa he needs to be very very careful because he is the next person to be fired the moment he is no longer useful he will be sent home just listening to this the thing i needed to mention was to caution Kimani Ishungwa he needs to read the script Dindi Nyoro has read it. He's next. This, these people work with you. When they are done with you, they chop your head. There was nobody who insulted Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta better than, than Rigiji. He was at the forefront. He insulted him. He said all sorts of things. Now they are done with him. He's going. Before we, I can tell Kemani Ishungwa, they are coming for you next. Kazi yako imeisha. Before we go to Kazi yako ilikuwa kutukana Rigiji. Rigiji ameenda. Sasa utakuwa unatukana nani? Kazi yako Kemani imeishungo imeisha. You are next on the chopping board. You are going to be chopped. This administration is going to use all these people and then dump them. Even the UDSG, Clofas Malala, I'm calling him the UDSG because the ICDRC, Internal Disputes Resolutions Committee of UDA, reinstated him. Although he's been denied access to the office and the vehicles and all that. But either way, even Clofas Malala is wondering. What could have happened to the president? Because as far as he's concerned, it is no longer the same person. Here's the tip. I don't want you to refer to the constitution. I want you to refer to your heart. Have you become this heartless, Mr. President? Have you become this heartless to a sense that your deputy president is sick, but you're still fighting him down? Mr. President, we helped you. We fought for you to become president. We never knew that you'll become this man who does not care about his friends. You had the opportunity to even talk to the Senate because they have up to Saturday. But you decided to fight a sick person. You decided you'll be the last person who will kill the aspirations of our deputy president. We want to tell you, we leave you to God. We are here. The family is here crying. As friends, we are here empathizing with the deputy president. But you are not being moved. The person who was stripped off his cloth before his family to make you president, is now here at current hospital, sick, but you're still fighting him down. What kind of a human being are you, Mr. President? What heart are you made of, Mr. President? We are very disheartened. We are very disappointed in you. But we want to tell you, we will leave you to God. You have all the powers right now. You have everything that is within your powers to ensure that you bring down a truthful man, but you cannot control God. We have a lot of confidence in our judiciary. We will have our day in court, and we believe that we are going to emerge victorious. We want to ask our supporters to remain hopeful that this is not a fight for the faint-hearted. We are here to ensure that we win this fight. We will win against this impunity, and we want to ensure our, our supporters that the deputy president will be back on his feet and he will be back in high spirit 
and I want to assure Kenyans that Rigathi Gashagwa will be deputy president up to 2027. Watch this person. Now, whether Malala is right or wrong, that is not my concern. The point I'm trying to put across is that now politicians are on very high alert that anything can happen around the president, especially on these matters of appointed positions. Positions where you serve at the pleasure of the president, you cannot be too comfortable. Now, the second group which has lost a lot of trust with the president is the Kenyan electorate. Now, it's not even primarily about the impeachment. When we talk about the impeachment, the only aggrieved region would be Mlima Kenya. And we don't know for sure if the president picks Irungo Kangata or somebody else from that region, how that will sway the people. It might win some of them back. It might win all of them back or none of them back. But that is not what I'm looking at. That's a Mount Kenya issue. But the biggest place where people have lost faith is on this issue of Adani. And I'll give you an example. If you look at this copy of the standard, what does it read as the top headline? Fired after 766 days. That's Rigadi Gashagwa. It's taking center stage. It's the main story today. But follow the green arrow. Look at the bottom. Adani to use JKIA title to secure loans. Can you imagine? This is even what ought to be the title. Because any politician who is elected is uh, consequential for just a small period, at most 10 years, especially at the presidential level or deputy presidential level. But Adani is able to use the JKIA title to secure loans. This is a long-term problem for us. We can lease the airport to him for 30 years, as has been uh, agreed. And within those 30 years, he goes to the big players, international players, to secure more loans. Big loans that we don't know if he might be able to pay off. We don't know if Adani passes on who inherits him in that company or that trusteeship. And if they will have the ethics and ethos to see through that they pay off those loans. Otherwise, we might loan this airport to Adani and his company and he mismanages it or maybe he exits the earth and his uh, bloodline mismanages that airport and they take loans which they cannot pay. And we find out after 30 years that JKA belongs to a proxy party. What then will we do? And what if this proxy party is a superpower that we cannot fight and recapture our airport? So these are some of the things which are... Uh, making the president be on not so good standing with Kenyans. There's a lot of lack of faith, especially with this issue of Adani. And the third group, which has also lost uh, trust in the president, is our fellow African leaders. In the Pan-African meeting in South Africa, the president said that it doesn't make sense for all African heads of state to go to Russia for the Russia-Africa summit. You find some 40-something heads of state sitting in front of one gentleman. Or if it's the US-Africa summit, you find a good number of African leaders sitting in front of Joe Biden or Donald Trump or Kamala Harris if she'll win. Same goes for the Africa-China summit. So the president suggested that it would make more sense that we just send one representative. From East Africa or Comesa, we can have one person. From Sadek, they can have one person also. But at the end of the day, he has attended all those things. At one point, I even saw an image where they were all bundled in a bus. Now... The president has a very, very tall order. He has three years. Time is not lost. He has three good years to see how he can recapture the trust of a majority of Kenyans. He doesn't need all Kenyans. He just needs 50% plus one of those who are eligible to vote and actually come out to vote. He also needs to capture the trust of his fellow political leaders. I tend to believe that uh, Raila Odinga will not be enough to help the president win elections. There's never, in fact, been a precedent in Kenya whereby two leaders coming together is enough. The coalition needs to accommodate quite a number of other parties. The president needs to assure his fellow political leaders that what they agree on stands and no one will go back on that word. For instance, Moses Kuria's CCK agreed that the party leader gets a, a CS position, but now he's no longer a CS, he's an economic advisor. That was an agreement that didn't pan out the way they expected. So those are the three frontiers that the president needs to be looking at. If he can work on that within the next three years, uh, I think all will be well. Failure to which things won't be too good. But at the end of the day, guys, it's just my opinion. Do let me know your own comments in the comment section below. I'll do my best to read them and to give you a response. Now, in the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Fuller. Hit the subscribe button. You're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel 
that you really, really need to subscribe to. All right, guys, adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adiós.